Hi, hello, welcome to my channel, you guys. If you haven't been here before, my name is Natalie Venus, aka Magnetism Mystic. And here on this channel, I like to make pick card videos and I like to make witchy shit. And yeah, I'm going to be sharing more of my witchy content and some of my personal life more and more on this space and I thought today you know what it might be fun to do an altar tour so today that's what we're doing so full disclosure it's been a few months since I like really um cleaned my altar really well and you know, decorated it the way that I wanted to have it, you know, with so many things going on in life, being pregnant, even mental health at times keeps me from really tending to my altar in the way that I would like to. And I'm sharing this because I know that I'm not the only one and I want to let you know, like, that's okay. Um, don't judge yourself and hopefully like watching this video today inspires you and energizes you if you need it to go and tend to your altar to give it a cleanse a clean and to yeah just um bring some fresh energy into it um so as well my altar i feel like is um quite large and fancy these days but it was not always that way um, the very first altar or sacred space that I had was literally just a windowsill in my bedroom. So you don't have to have a huge space. You don't have to have super fancy tools. Um, you can use what you've got. Um, I'm thinking as well of doing a video tutorial sometime soon on how to create a travel altar or a small altar space that you can put away if you are in a space where you don't have the room to set up a permanent altar or you um, don't have the privacy that you would like or if you would just like to have a little bit of a sacred space that you can take with you on your travels if you're going on holiday or something or you're staying somewhere but anyway that's gonna have to be another video so I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to say so let's get into it I'll give you the grand tour I hope you enjoy um let me know let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions um yeah Okay, so it might be a bit tricky for me to show you everything, so I'm going to have to move the camera around at times because my altar, as you can see, is quite large. But I, yeah, I thought today, you know what, I cleaned out my altar inside and out because, oh my God, like I'll clean it, I'll organize it and it'll stay nice for like a month. And like I'm a lazy, messy witch and I just kind of throw things around in the drawers. So every few months I do have to take everything out, vacuum it out, clean it, all of the things. So that's what I did today and I thought, you know what, it would be nice to do a little altar tour video um, because I love my altar. I think it's really beautiful. So this altar I've had, this antique writing desk. I have had since I was 17 so I've had it just about 10 years now um, and it was given to me by my grandmother when she moved into a smaller home after my grandfather died so she was downsizing and um, yeah she gave this to me which you know I absolutely 
always adored it growing up. Um, I always thought it was so beautiful. I loved to open all the little drawers and see what was inside. And I remember she used to keep stationery and like envelopes and things like that in there. And I just, yeah, I always, always loved it. So she gave it to me, which super grateful. <laughs> and ever since then, it has been my sacred space. Before that, my altar looked like, I think it started off as like literally just my windowsill. <laughs> um, there was a time where I was living out of home and I couldn't take this with me for a little bit. And I used just the top of a dresser. But yeah, so this is my altar and I'm going to take you through it. I do eventually want to give you a tour of my entire witchy room slash office, but we moved a couple of months ago and I'm still figuring out how I want things. So once that's sorted, <laughs> we'll get there. So as you can see at the moment, um, I don't have anything to do with Lilith on my altar anymore. Um, I was working with Lilith very strongly for many years. However, we just, I felt and, and our closeness just kind of drifting apart. And it wasn't like we weren't aligned anymore. Or like, I guess that is a bit it. But I don't know. I just, yeah, we kind of drifted our separate ways a little bit. Um, and she was making room so that I could dedicate more of my devotion to Aphrodite um, and to Venus. And especially as I've been diving into astrology a lot the last year. Um, and for me, um, like I'm a Taurus rising, so I'm ruled by Venus. I have a lot of Libra in my chart. There's a lot of Venus in my chart. So I've been feeling very drawn to working with Venusian energy and working with Aphrodite slash Venus. So that's what my altar is now dedicated to. Um, I've always loved that there's these different levels to it. In the past, I would dedicate a different level to a different deity or a different kind of area of focus. Today, that looks like these two levels are devoted to Venus. And this here is still Venusian energy, but it's more focused on wealth and money drawing, which is also a Venusian energy. So it makes sense for me. But I am going to take you in to more of the nitty gritty, get you some closer, closer looks at what's going on and kind of explain what's there, um, what I use each draw and section for so and actually while we're at this view I can kind of show you these drawers here I'm not going to show you the drawers over here because in here I keep more personal things um spell work petitions and things that I've wanted to keep I keep over here but in here I've got some some <laughs> of my herbs um and things I have another area in my office um, with a drawer that has more which I'll show you but in here I've got um I wouldn't say the things that I use the most but the things that I had the most of that required getting jars <laughs> and I actually do need to restock on some of these things you can see like my jasmine's running a bit low here. My flower petals, um, my rosebuds. I mean, they're definitely some of my most used. Um, I do like to work mostly with herbs that are um, associated with Venus. That just, that's my personal <laughs> preference there. Um, so, yeah, I also have here... This is like, you'll notice, I'll show you a few kind of things, not everything, but um, since you can see that, that actually has some, some protection sigils and things on it because I like to include some protection around and in my altar um, because it is my sacred space. It is where I do 
workings um, for myself and for clients. So for me, it's important to keep that energetically, spiritually, magically protected. But let's dive into some other pieces. Over here is the first kind of area that I have in devotion to Venus. Right now I've got one of my candles burning that I made that is called Venusian Witch and it is as an offering to Venus, but it's also an amplifier of glamour magic. It um, enhances beauty and attracts love. I've also got this gorgeous, and if you hear me getting out of breath, I am pregnant, so <laughs> bear with me. But here I've got another offering that I've got currently, which is some chamomile, hibiscus, and rose tea for Venus. I do this every now and then um, because it's nice, it's simple. I do sometimes leave it on my altar for too long and it gets a little bit moldy. I know. That's not good, <laughs> but sometimes it does happen. But this is a gold plated little teacup and saucer. I do have an entire set that I found on Facebook marketplace for $20 and it's worth like a lot more than that, <laughs> but it's super gorgeous. And I love to give offerings with these. Um, I've got a little jar that I made a few years ago in um, as an offering to Venus. Um, I think it was for like beauty. Um, I don't know. I can't really remember to be honest, but I also have a few crystals here. So I love, oh my God, I don't want to burn myself, but I absolutely love this one. My husband got it for me for my birthday a few years ago and certain angles, there's a bit of a rainbow. You can't really see. It's kind of hard to show you. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like an angel wing or a butterfly wing. Um, and it's really gorgeous. I've also got some rose quartz, some clear quartz, some amethyst. And I like to sprinkle little rose buds around. There's like a space filler, but also because it's really cute and really pretty and then up here is the main kind of altar um to venus i've got this goddess candle which um i am replacing not that i'm getting rid of the candle but i have ordered a birth of venus statue that i'm going to put there when it arrives but around this, you'll see I've got a few things. So first thing I'll show you is this little shell slash wooden bowl that I found at an op shop a few years ago. And I've just filled it with some little crystals and this rose quartz yoni egg. Um, I love using the egg on my altar. It's a symbol of fertility, of life. Um, the egg is the seed of life. And um, yeah, particularly these last few months, I've been working with the energy of fertility quite a bit, obviously, as I'm now pregnant. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful. This shell, it's actually a Christmas tree decoration. <laughs> I've cut off the fishing line but I got it from there's this gorgeous um Christmas shop in Breadbow which is like an hour from Canberra and yeah I got this at Christmas time and had it on our tree but I said to my husband after Christmas I am keeping this on my altar all year round <laughs> um and I just think it is simply stunning and really beautiful to have on my altar here I've also got at the back oh so many candles another shell and i've got i'm not sure i think this might be desert sage and it's like coated in some kind of like rose powder or something i'm not sure oh i've got a random little candle in there <laughs> just a few little things that you know sweet and cute underneath this little offering I've got an Empress tarot card and 
This one's actually The World from another deck, but obviously it has the birth of Venus on it, and I thought that would be perfect to have. And I've got this little plate here um, with some honey, some witch's bell, some rose, possibly some catnip <laughs> that I've used as an offering um, that's been there for a little while. And um, I can probably go and put that out in nature sometime shortly and replace it. And then I've got a few more little crystals, some rose incense going right now. I love 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 like I'm obsessed with working with rose that is the plant that I work with the most that I always have worked with since I first started doing witchy things witchcraft when I was a young teen um and yeah I just feel like I have a really strong affinity and relationship with the spirit and the energy of rose <laughs> if that makes sense over here I have a glass with a tea light in it and um, what I like to do with these, um, I have some of them around my house and what I do is in the glass, in the base of the glass, I will take um, a marker or a piece of paper with a sigil on it or a rune on it. Um, depending on my intention. So for some of them I use for warding, so I'll do protection um, symbols or sigils or runes. And for some of them I'm using them to amplify certain energies and spells. Like for this one is for abundance, so I've used a sigil that I made for abundance. I don't think I've done one in this one. This is more just an offering, but I then like to put salt and a few herbs in it and a tea light and I'll usually drop some intention oil in the tea light so that's just another little offering that I've got there um that's pretty much it for that piece <laughs> and then moving over here this is my abundance altar so I've got some citrine at the back there that I was gifted by a beautiful friend. I've got some of my prosperity priestess oil, <laughs> which needs a shake to get the, I mean, you can't really see, it's all kind of frozen at the bottom. It's been so chilly around here. Um, also got a spell jar for abundance <laughs> that I've put various things in there including my own hair <laughs> um, I've got this little bell it's not really anything to do with the abundance but I liked the color of gold and like I do like to use it some of the time so I thought it would be sweet to have there I've got a little bowl with rice because grains are great for attracting abundance, some coins, a little rune for luck, success, abundance, prosperity. And then I've got my nine and ten of pentacles over here with a quartz generator on top, which is meant to amplify that energy. And then I've got my little... Um, wealth amplifier candle <laughs> going um and you can kind of see the reflection of the sigil through the bottom of the glass i don't know if you can see that that i've used um gold marker to do on the bottom of the glass and the great thing about that is when you are done with it because you should change it every few months and you'll know when all the salt gets crusty <laughs> and sticks together and then you can just wash the marker out and do something else in there if you want to um, but I've got some bay leaf crushed up in there some pyrite and some rose of course and then let's move on down here I've got this white pillar candle going I like to have this going anytime I'm doing spell work um, it helps to bring protection and clarity and yeah, that's what I like. Down here, I've got this little dragon statue. Pull him out. He's really heavy. That um, 
oh, excuse me, sorry, I am burping a little bit. Um, I stole from my dad. <laughs> it's one of these things he's had, um, again, it's one of these things that was in my home growing up and I was obsessed with it. So I nicked it. <laughs> And I keep him here on my altar for protection. He's my little protection ally. And he has this little, like, crevice area that I've used as a nest to hold a bunch of protection crystals. So I've got another yoni egg here, but it's obsidian. So there's some smoky quartz, some obsidian. Um, I don't know what else in there. So I just kind of keep him nestled in there, again, for protection. Um, further down, you can kind of see a little protection spell jar there <laughs> and some crystals. And here I'm just propagating some devil's ivy, but I'm going to keep it in this jar and let it grow like that. And I like to keep some on my altar again, because devil's ivy is really protective so this is just another way that I bring an element of protection to my magical space to ward out any energies that I do not want interfering in my energy in my space, really. So yeah. Moving on along here, I've got this little box that I found at an op shop that I keep some crystals in. This is my grimoire that I started recently. Up until now, <laughs> my grimoire is um, various, various, various notebooks um, and it's a mess. So I really wanted to get something that I can use as like a permanent thing um, and make it beautiful. So I'm currently working on transferring all of my notes and spells and things into this um, <laughs> when I get around to it. I've got, this is my personal tarot deck that I do not show anybody um, because it's for me and only for me. So I don't use this one for readings for clients. I actually keep those in another spot. Um, so yeah, over here, I've got another spell jar that I've made. I've got just some other bundles, my huge labradorite crystal ball, which I love. And you can kind of see some little fleckles. Oh, look at that. Look at that flash. It's beautiful. Ooh. And my mortar and pestle, which has got some stuff from a previous spell I was working on, which I think was um, a group spell for prosperity, I think. <laughs> so that is the outside slash top superficial area of my altar. So... Now I'm going to take you inside a little bit and <laughs> show you what's going on. So in this drawer, I keep all of my matches and lighters, melts. I've got a few essential oils in here for some reason. Um, some loose incense, an extra incense holder and... Some stick incense. I do need to stock up again. I just haven't done it since we moved. Um, over here is just kind of some random stuff. So I've got my um, wax melter for sealing stuff. <laughs> some uh, sandalwood resin. Some runes that are actually my husband's. <laughs> Um, some extra tea lights and things and just, yeah, just a few random things. It's, um, it's a drawer where I just keep extra things that I'm just not quite sure where to put. 
In here, I've got um, some charcoal, a fan that I use if it gets too smoky, scissors, um, some random crystals. This, these I use for carving candles. I don't actually know what they are or what they're for. I don't know if you can see. Um, but I got them at a dollar shop for like a couple of dollars. And then I've just got like screws, um, pins, Random bottles, um, I think it's a jar that's got a spell in it perhaps, but I don't know what it is. It's from a long time ago. Jar of my own hair. <laughs> um, let's see. And then finally, the drawers that I am going to show you are this one. Just got some chime candles in there i've got a big bag of red ones in my cupboard that will not fit in here oops and i've got to show you this one um and then this one i've got just lots and lots and lots and lots of tea lights because you can never have too many so that is really it that is how it is today and um yeah so that is my altar space i really hope that you enjoyed this video today if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up leave a comment and let me know subscribe so you do not miss out when i am posting new videos um, if you would like to purchase the Venusian witch candle, I do have some still available in my shop. I think I have like three left, so I'll pop a link for that down below. And if you would like to book a reading with me, my books are currently open. My books are open as well for spell work. So if you would like some spell work done by your girl, make sure you book that and, um, yeah, I'll pop all of those beautiful, lovely, delicious links down below.